this ride. Everybody, let's do a, another episode, episode number 18 of Not Bad. And uh, I'd like to call this my Thanksgiving special. Uh, I do want to give thanks uh, for all of you. I, you, you. You people have been just terrific and welcome me into the community uh very good and just want to say thank you thank you very much god bless you i, I want to thank the good lord for allowing me to lead me to all of you and, and and i hope that all stays the same so getting on by the way I'm not giving any of you a turkey. I'm the only turkey you're going to get. So. Alright. Let's start off with. Uh, the featured videos this week. That's, uh, the first one. Is. MN. BN. SF. Modeler. Welcome to the. Night Trains at Twin Cities Model Railroad Museum. And I want to tell you, this is an awesome little video of their railroad museum. And they turn the lights out and you get to see everything all lit up and it is just definitely magical. I think you'll like it and it's very, very neat video. Not bad. Check it out. The next one I have is Troy Bostick, uh, the uh, 2018 Piedmont Pilgrimage, Blue Ridge and Shenandoah Valley Signaling. Now, I'm going to warn you, this video starts out a little slow, but it's worth the wait if you watch it all the way through. It's... It's an awesome looking little layout, and uh, you need to definitely check him out. And you know, he's only got 29 subscribers as of when I watched this video. Help the man out and subscribe to his channel. So far, everything I've watched on his channel has been very interesting, and, and uh, I think he deserves some subs and a good old shout out of not bad. Troy Bostick. <clears throat> the next one I have, excuse me, uh, is Smoky Mountain Steam. Cass Scenic Railroad, the Allegheny Sidewinder. And I'm going to tell you, if you haven't ever seen the Cass Scenic Railroad, well, this is the, the video for you to get introduced. Because I'll tell you, if you like steam engines... You're going to love this video. It's just that good. It's, it's better than not bad. And it ain't often you're going to hear me say it's better than. So you'll like it. Alright. The next one I got is uh, the North Folk Southern Tier 4 Productions. 
And uh, it's layout update number 16. More new building and new sightings. And uh, this, young, this young man has an impressive start on a huge layout. And I like the way that he's, he's going about it. And I'll tell you what, you can hear the enthusiasm as he's explaining it. I understand that myself. Uh, I've been known to get a little excited with my layout. Just a little. But very nicely done. Not bad. Another guy that could use some subs. You guys check him out. I think you'll, you'll find out I'm not leading you astray. Good guy. Next one is our good old friend, Papa Rails himself, John Dilly. Um, places that Vinny models on his layout. And when he was out at Vinny's place, Vinny took him and Sparky around and uh, showed him places that is on his layout. That he models on his layout. And I'll tell you what, I think that is so cool. That after you've played with Vinny's layout, he says, come on, I'll show you where that place is. And he takes you out and shows you the real thing. And it's, I think that's pretty awesome myself for both uh, the guy receiving it and Vinny. I, Vinny, you need hats off, brother. I tell you, not bad. So, Sparky does make a little brief appearance in that too. So... Alrighty, move on. Now, sir, I'm going to try to pronounce your last name correctly. I hope I do. Lou Bordages. Okay. It's the Billboard Train. Uh, great little video of, of two great steamers pulling an awesome train of boxcars with great billboards on, on the side. And it's it, if you like that kind, of, I, I I eat that stuff up. I what can I say? Ah, uh, and then there's a nice little bonus of a of a uh, another steam train coming from the other end, and it just has a nice backdrop of scenery too. So you can't lose by watching this guy's video, lube. Lou Bordages. <laughs> Sorry if I butchered your name, sir. Thank you very much. Not bad. And the last guy I got today is Georgia Sunbelt. The GSB 16th of November 2018 layout update. Acquired real estate, he has in parentheses. And... I'll tell you what, it is, it, I, I'm halfway new to his channel. I've watched a couple of things, other things he's put on, but I've never really got a good look at his layout. And, and this, this one here introduced me to his layout. And he has an awesome layout. I mean, he's really going to town with it. Yeah, yeah it's still under construction, but ain't all ours still under construction, you know? If you're done... I can't believe you're done. There is nobody ever done. There's always something. But he he does a great job with his. And he he's found some space that he's going to add on. And he's showing you that. That's his uh, his acquired real estate. And uh, it's, it's really cool how he does it. Plus, he's all, for a bonus, he's showing you some uh, rolling stock that I think he said he got from a... Uh, uh, a train show, some nice rolling stock too, and also his purchase of some scale trains and whew, some engines. Oh, my, they nice. Check them out. Uh, I'm sure as soon as you see his channel, you'll be more than happy to subscribe to it because 
he's really really got a, a great looking layout and I'm sure that he's going to have some great videos to come so Georgia Sunbelt all right so that takes us <coughs> to the rail fan video of the week and since it's Thanksgiving I'm going to do something a little a little special First off, I'm going to tell you who, who who's my pick for this week uh, to be the has the rail fan video of the week, and then I'm going to tell you my runners up, and then I got a little bit of footage I want to show you of something special that I caught some camera footage. It's not much, but I got a little bit of camera footage of uh, that happened in my town. So, a little rail fanning of my own. So, see what you think. Um, first off, the Rail Fan Video of the Week. This week is Trex 1094. And it was, what a meet here. And I'm going to tell you, that's, that's, was the title of his little video. It was, what a meet here. Uh, what an awesome catch. And he has two trains that meet each other, and they're zinging along really good, and it, it, it's really caught really well. But what really makes it special is the ending. And it, I'm not going to spoil it. I want you to go watch it. I'm not going to tell you how it ends, but it's got an ending that is it's worth sitting through it all and watching it, because I... It was it was definitely awesome, and uh, not bad. This is what rail fanning is all about on that video. I have some good runners up too. Now the runners up are Ohio Rail Fanning NS twenty two K with uh, an. EX Conrail or an X Conrail C40 8W with a 310 with a 8098 Conrail as a mid train DPU. Hmm. It's just a cool video. Big long title, cool video. Uh, Jordan Wilkinson, uh, the Norfolk Southern Coal Train headed eastbound. With a DC to AC engine leading in the snow. Another nice, nice uh, video. I liked it. Jordan Wilkson, Wixon, Wilkson. And the last one I have is the West Virginia 1 CXX mixed freight at Thermont, West Virginia. Another nice. Great rail fanning videos. Hats off to all of you. And Trex, uh, salute. Hats off. Not bad for being the rail fan video of the week. Now here is my shot. And I took this actually this morning over in Scottsdale. And this is something we just don't... You guys, some of you guys might think this is nothing special. But we just don't see that in our little town. Check it out. Man. You just don't see this in Scottsdale too often. This is awesome. Okay. Scottsdale. This is our little, there's our caboose. Our usual, our local guys. That we all know and love. This is awesome. This is awesome. Are you there? Oh yeah! In our little town of Scottsdale. This is great. Okay, folks. Here we are at the depot again, and this week 
I got a couple little things I want to show you, and that's, that's about what it is, too. Little things. And one is I put took like this little car right here, and it's not going to stay there. Hmm. All right, move the camera. All right, I got this little train uh, car here. Oh. I'll bet you it's been well over a year ago at one of the Green Bar, Greenberg uh, train shows. Not this last one. But it needed put together. And it's a special edition uh, baggage car. And it's from the 1973 NMRA. Uh, I think it was from the... Uh, uh, it says San Mateo Coast Division uh, Convention. And it wasn't put together. It was brand new, still in the box. Well, I put it together. And I just am ecstatic with it. And the other night when I did the uh, live chat, uh, that it was a spur of the moment emergency live chat because... Uh, Rodney kind of spooked me there. <laughs> Said I didn't have anything on her. But I was putting this together and I didn't really want anybody to see it because I planned on doing this today. But this is a really nice model. I'm going to take it off here. And I want to see if I can get a close-up here. Oh, stupid lighting. Ain't going to let me do it, is it? Nope. Not well, if I hold it back here. You can see the detail is in that you ought to the the this is string I don't know if you can see it here I gotta move my light but if you can see the string there I strung that all by hand <laughs> and with my with my big sausage fingers that was a feat in itself but it uh, turned out to be a really nice model. Uh, the other thing I, that I, and, and I'll point out my mistakes. The other thing I can say that I didn't do right was on this side you don't see a brake wheel. And there's a reason for that. My big sausage, here, big sausage fingers dropped the rod that uh, the uh, wheel fits on. I can't find it. I'm blind. <laughs> so, anyhow, but I'll live without that. And, I, I, and I've tried a couple other little things to try to make a rod, and it just didn't work. So, <laughs> But I'm good. And because I got one on this side, anyhow, over here. So, uh, yeah, turn it around so you can see it. And, uh, but, I... That will make really nice to the nice little addition to my fleet. Now, the second thing I want to show you is at this last Greenberg show, I had got a box full of stuff, just a box full, and this was in the box. And it's a B unit from a Santa Fe. Now it's missing a coupler on one side, which I'm going to have to put in. But I'm going to take and remove the Santa Fe sticker, uh, even though, because I don't have a, a Santa Fe engine to hook to that. But I do, well, I do have a Santa Fe, but it's an older one, see? Here, let me put Move the camera. I guess I could leave it like that. Why not? It's my railroad. I'll do what I want. Steve, Steve Brown will be proud that I said that. <laughs> but uh, that's what I have to show you this week. Oh, also in in, in the rest of that box, there, all, there was all kind of stuff. There was, ah, uh, there was some ballast, a little bit of ballast. There was. Uh, a, 
a bunch of track. Brand new, still in the package. Uh, Atlas track. Uh, little curves and, 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 and the little short pieces, you know. And uh, just little odds and ends here and there. But uh, it was well worth it. I think we got the whole box, uh, $15. And we, we, we found that, my, well, my son, he spotted it first and uh, when we first got there. So, but anyhow, that's what we got today. And uh, I got a lot to do here. I'm going to be coming out here within the next uh, week or so with an update on my layout video. And uh, so be watching for that. Uh, also, remember uh, On Track Tuesday is tomorrow night. Uh, uh, this week uh, is going to be uh, Boxcar Benny from Creative Rails. And uh, I think he's going to also announce his contest winner on that show. So that'll be worth watching. Don't want to the miss it. Um, and the last thing of all, I know I said it at the beginning of the video, and I'm going to say it now at the end. Thank you all for watching, subscribing to my channel. Uh, I just don't know what, I, I, I can't say enough about how terrific I think you are. And God bless you all and your family. I'll see you the next time on Not Bad. And thank you again. Give thanks and hug your family this weekend.